evidence based practice is it a boon or a bane shall we follow evidence based practice or practice based evidence shall i believe in more than 25 years of experience of mine based on 100000 clients treated using particular technique or protocol that worked in 80% of cases or shall i trust a published research conducted on maybe just 100 subjects in some other geographical location on some other ethnic group having different eating habits lifestyle belief system having different physiological and genetic factors and acclimatized to different climatic conditions remember these are in addition to anatomical variations we all individuals have shall we not use a specific procedure or protocol on a client just because its efficacy has not been proven statistically with p value less than 0.05 however clinical experience says that it is effective in around 80% or in majority of the cases and we also know that for remaining 20% of cases nothing will work anyway either because of wrong diagnosis patient's non compliance or advancement of the condition which is beyond the scope of practice let me tell you i am not against evidence based practice rather i support it and do follow the same but not blindly because we must decide to what extent shall we follow it and on which evidence or research shall we believe as every now and then concept emerge and go for example one study says it is important to work on core muscles and after a few years another study comes stating that there is no evidence to support it and then after some time another study get published stating actually it works but conditions apply similarly initially there were enough evidence that in acute cases or injuries rice regime work and as we all know rice stands for rest ice compression and elevation later evidence came no actually rice that works so the protection p was added in rice making it rice regime and then the evidence came for the rice where the word referral was added in the and making it rice and by the time one just thought to start practicing it a new research got published that says no there is no evidence to support it but it is the police that works which stands for protection optimal loading ice compression and elevation here the rest component is replaced by optimal loading does it mean that the rice or price protocol which included rest and followed for many years was not effective now as a practitioner one may feel cheated because since last 30 years as per his or her experience he or she was already practicing police and was forced to shift to price as many other criticized and made fun of them for the same blaming for not practicing evidence based practice it seemed like as earlier they loved for using coal or salt for cleaning teeth called those illiterate or non scientific method now same people are advising kya aapke toothpaste mein namak hai does your toothpaste have salt in it very funny we all know necessity is the mother of all invention avashyakta hi avishkar ki janani hai means all researches are based on necessity however intention behind it could be good or bad why i'm saying bad because many times researches are either funded by developers equipment manufacturers special interest groups or pharma companies many times research is conducted to prove or disprove a theory that comes in the mind of a researcher and it become difficult to digest that research will be unbiased no matter how hard the researcher may try or conduct a double blind rct eventually majority of the time result will support hypothesis planned by the researcher 
so was it not that researcher only proved what he wanted to through his so called research and created evidence for the same and then got it published by following the publication norms of allied journals and then in the name of evidence based practice everyone starts following it and then over the time new research get published condemning the previous one one may agree that the outcome of the research also depends on the qualifications backgrounds clinical skills of the researcher and their ability to interpret results and if the research is funded by industry there might be hidden conflict of interest which might also affect the outcome of the research published as mentioned earlier necessity is the mother of all inventions so might be evidence based practice was actually the necessity to control certain clinical practice in countries having strong insurance based billing system as patient might be receiving over treatment in order to claim higher bills from the insurance companies so probably yes probably there was an urgent need to develop a system where insurance companies have a check and control on overcharging in name of right treatment probably that is why a new system called evidence based practice was developed for insurance companies to clear the claim if only there were evidences to support that specific treatment however it may not be applicable where client has to pay from their own pocket as they will anyway not continue if treatment did not help them on very first session so clinician is bound to deliver the optimal treatment to help their client in restoring comfort and capabilities in most economical way in terms of time and money many times we receive clients from those countries strictly following evidence based practice and when we treat them using our protocol they often recover much faster and wonder why their previous therapist did not try these treatment protocols we know the reason though we never spell it out to the client the reason is despite of knowing that a particular technique or protocol will work on their client they still don't do it because firstly they are not getting paid for it of course due to lack of uh, published evidence secondly the fear of getting sued because in case client decide to file a case against clinician then clinician won't be able to prove his intention and innocence in absence of evidences to support his treatment protocol you know sometimes even students also find it challenging when some of their teacher ask them to first get the mother article to support their idea or research now my question is if it is a new idea or research how can and from where a student can find the mother article supporting it means in the name of evidence based practice are we not suppressing the new ideas before they come out and hence killing the inventor inside the student now think about it might be okay might be those practicing only evidence based practice will not they lose their ability to think and develop new ideas techniques or procedures as every time they will be forced to only do what has been proved already and if those few teachers believe in only evidence based practice then they should also believe those published systematic reviews that says that over the time the outcome will be same irrespective of therapy received or not then why do they still continue teaching those therapists to students if they are not effective because they know there might be some vested interest behind these kind of outcomes about these therapies being ineffective and as i already said the outcome also depend on the background and the beliefs of researcher group or industry funding a specific research believe it or not i am sure when a researcher who believes 
only in evidence based practice submit his article to a reputed journal for publication also cross his fingers and pray to god that it is accepted for the publication now i would like to ask the researcher for the evidences on existence of the god now as a practicing clinician these are just my thoughts to light a spark in the mind of practicing clinicians and researchers that in absence of evidence or published research shall we discard a technique or protocol that we have been practicing since years and getting excellent result on majority of the cases shall we not try new ideas why shall not we continue practicing same and trained clinician to collect data in scientific way train them to get it published irrespective of the result of the study even if the outcome are not statistically significant and then leave it to the choice of clinician to accept or reject it is important to note that some finding might be statistically significant but clinically irrelevant and vice versa as well that is it might be clinically relevant but statistically insignificant practice based evidence cannot be neglected in fact if one takes a closer look it also included within the classification of evidence based practice do at a lower hierarchy therefore clinical experience is also an important determinant which forms the basis of successful evidence based practice and after seeing this video i am sure viewers will agree or disagree on these view points of mine hence i must mention here that i do not wish to get engaged in a debate on this remember badloge nazariya to badlenge nazare badloge nazariya to badlenge nazare your life is reflection of your thoughts if you change your thinking you change your life and the time will prove what is right or wrong like in present coronavirus situation do you see anyone following evidence based practice it's not that they are waiting for evidence to start the treatment of covid affected patients right and anyway in any situation i will stand out as a winner either i will win or i lose thomas edison ne bhi kaha tha main kabhi haarta nahi hu मैं कभी हारता नहीं हूं या तो जीतता हूं या सीखता हूं इन द एंड इट शुड बी लेफ्ट टू द इंडिविजुअल चॉइस टू प्रैक्टिस व्हाट इज पब्लिश्ड और व्हाट एक्चुअली वर्क्स टू फॉलो एविडेंस बेस्ड प्रैक्टिस और प्रैक्टिस बेस्ड एविडेंस इफ यू लाइक दिस आइडिया ऑफ माइंड प्लीज शेयर विद योर फ्रेंड्स टू नो देयर आइडिया अबाउट इट प्लीज subscribe to my youtube channel and hit the bell icon to get future updates educational videos on physiotherapy see you soon thank you very much